Another guy that Matt Steph caught up with up there in Gainesville is the new head coach of the Bonham Purple Warriors. It's Coach John Fish. Excited to see what the Purple Warriors have this year. Here's Matt Steph's interview with John Fish, the new head coach at Bonham here on Texas Football Today. Uh, coach, uh, obviously the Bonham job, um, you know, you left a great situation at Lone Star. Um, it was a great program. Coach Rayburn done a great job there. It take a good opportunity for you to leave. Uh, what, it, what interested you about Bonham? What were some of the things that really uh, convinced you to uh, take that leap? Obviously, you know, being at Lone Star was such a such a great experience for us. But but as a as a young coach, you're always looking each year to say, you know, what's the next step and, and uh, grow grow professionally. Uh, you know, when, when Bonham came open, you know, it was in, immediately something that I you know piqued an, piqued an interest. Um, just the location of Bonham, where it's at, and the 82 corridor. You know, it's it's that it's a it's a big enough city that you know it's going to have you're going to have a wealth of talent and, and great kids. But it's still that small town vibe where you, it's a, it's a community. It's it's tight knit and. Uh, Man, it's just great people. Um, so, so that that really piqued my interest. Number one. Yeah, great facility. Mean, people don't realize Bonham's got some really nice facilities too, don't they? I mean, I'm sure you were pretty impressed when you took a look at that, right? You know, I tell you, you know, you you hear stuff, obviously, you know, and coaches talk, and, and you always hear about Bonham and and how they do put an emphasis on athletics, and so. Went up there, and, and man, you talk about a 4A, you know, dropping down to 3A now, and the facilities that we have from the stadium to the field to um, just the, the they're building a brand new weight room, uh, completely renovating the weight room. It'll be one of the nicest weight rooms in the state of Texas. I mean, just the priority they still place on athletics, even though being a smaller town, smaller school, it, it, it's of the utmost importance. So. All right, now let's talk about the transition. Obviously, there's there's always a a whirlwind there. Where you're trying to learn the kids' names. You know, <laughs> got to learn all the all the kids and everything else. Uh, how's that going? How are the kids taking to the transition? And what have been some of the real focus points that you and your staff have had this off season? So, you know, one of the things anytime you go into a, a new job, it's evaluation. We're evaluating everything uh, for at least you know a couple couple weeks. Those first two weeks, you're really evaluating everything from the kids. To you know, what have we been doing? You know, and, and every situation I think is different. For us, when we came in, the first thing I said is, is we've got to get in the weight room. We got to, we got to go win the weight room, um, and, and then place the emphasis back on that. I told the kids we got to win the month of April, um, and made that kind of the point of emphasis. Um, and what I meant by that was we're going to dive into the weight room. We're going to fall back in love with the weight room, and the kids were 100% bought into that. And so uh, knowing that that was kind of the baseline, you know, we. we Yes, we're worried about installs. Yes, we're about offense, Steve, all, all that stuff. But really what we saw is we need to grow back in love with, with the what, what really gets us there and laying that foundation. And, and that starts in the weight room for these kids. And, and they bought in 100%. And now you're starting to see that growth and that that success that they have. And so you start feeding that. And, and I tell you, it's been pretty amazing to see see the way they bought into that. I was talking about installs. I mean, obviously today, seven on seven, it's not real football. We know that, but it's a great chance for you to watch your kids compete and see some of the things that you've been doing kind of pay off. And obviously the competitive juices get flowing because there's somebody with, with a different color jersey on the, on the other side of you. How excited are you to see your kids compete today? I'm I'm pumped. i am tell you what, you know, it, for the past few weeks, you know, we've really had some time now after, after April, we kind of looked at May and said, hey, let's now start, let's start doing some football. And man, seeing these kids and they're just, they're, they're hungry. They're hungry for more. And now that they've kind of got a little taste of it, now they want to go compete. And so for us, seven on seven, doing these things, it's as close to real football as we can get. And we know that. But what, what we tell our kids is, is number one, you know, we're, we're not, you're never going to see us go out there and run seven on seven plays or any of that kind of stuff. This to us is about getting better for the fall. Um, so this is an opportunity for our kids to take what they've been learning and now apply it in a, in a competitive fashion against someone else. Our kids love to compete. That's what we want to see. I tell them all the time, you're gonna make mistakes. Okay, make them 100% and compete your tails off and, and, and leave the day getting better, knowing that it's about the big picture, so. All right, now final question for you. A couple of weeks ago, I was in Frisco, talking to your former boss, Coach Rayburn. He said losing you off his uh, off, off Max Thompson's most uh, in-shape coaching staff in the state of Texas was a big loss, but he feels like he's got got some guys to replace you, and, and they're, they're going after the title again at coaching school this year. But he said you, you, you're you probably going to get things going at Bonham. How's the uh, off-season uh, regimen going for the coaches in the weight room? You know, it's really funny. You know, you, you go into a new place, and, and uh, you, you're obviously going through interviews with coaches, and – and the last thing that we uh, that we always leave in the interview is, hey man, how do you feel about the weight room? And then the coach is always like, well, coach, yeah, you know, they. We get in, I'm talking about you. And so these coaches know the expectation. The bar's been set that we are going to be in shape. We're going to look the part. Um, you know, I know Coach Rayburn is. You know, he's a busy guy. He, you know, he's he's a busy guy over there at Lone Star. So I think, you know, without having me there pulling him in that weight room, 
you might see the dad bod start kind of oh, growing wow. a little bit in Lone Star, you know what I mean? And so I, he better be careful, you know, okay, that, 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 in, that, that, that pull to the weight room may, that, that, that losing that may hurt him. So. Pull, you know, I, I, I would subscribe to that theory, uh, going to the barbecue table instead of the weight room sometimes. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, Coach Rayburn, I'm with you. I understand. <laughs> Coach, appreciate your time. Good luck today with your kids, and I appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I like that he's taking shots Good. at Rayburn Good. We for the dad bod Ray- thing. we got to knock, knock Rayburn off. John that. Fish is basically taking full credit here for the Rayburn staff's – or for Lone Star staff fitness. He's, like he's saying, it's I'm me. the one that pulled I'm Rayburn the into the weight room. I And without me, dad bod's coming. He's, he's, he's CrossFit Jesus. Look, the time will tell. People time will follow tell. him. Interesting. Anyway, we appreciate Coach John Fish catching up with Matt Steph. We- <laughs>